Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I am excited to present to you a project that I've been working on for a little bit, and it is a WordPress website detector. Let's go ahead and look at it. It is at oit.is. So the way you say that is, oh, it is. And the reason I picked that name was because um, usually when I was looking at a website and it, I did not know if it was WordPress or not, uh, I would use an existing solution. Um, there are other websites that do the same thing, but I would use one of these other website detectors for WordPress and I would be like, oh, it is WordPress. So that's kind of where that name came from. And then I used my short domain name search engine to, to find that domain name that it was available for purchase. So anyway, putting that aside, like I mentioned, there are existing WordPress website detectors, but what I found with them was that they are very inconsistent and some of them are even inaccurate. So I figured that I could do a better job of making a WordPress website detector. And at this point, I, as far as I know, I have 100% accuracy with uh, being able to detect WordPress websites. So I'm gonna do a couple demonstrations here, show you how this works and show you um, how simple I tried to keep it. So when you come to oitis, oit.is, you come and see this, um, uh, search bar and all you really have to do is type or paste in a website's URL So let's start with a website that we all know is WordPress and that would be Tony teaches.tech So we'll click on detect WordPress and it's going to go out and scan that site and Determine that it is indeed a WordPress website. Let's do another one with, that we know that is not WordPress google.com is this a WordPress website? No, it's not. The way that my tool figures this out is it scans the page source for the home page or whatever page you give it and looks for occurrences of um, typical standard references to WordPress um, resources like the WP content directory or the WP includes directory. Um, and if it finds those, then it's pretty confident that it is a WordPress website. Now there could be false positives, so we also detect, uh, check to see if there's a, a WordPress admin uh, login page. And if either one of those is true, then we are pretty sure that it is a WordPress website. So let's do a couple more examples here. Um, if we go to wired.com. Is that a WordPress website? Yes, it is. Now I want to kind of show you behind the scenes sir, for this. So for wired.com, if we look, uh, whoops, uh, well, I jumped ahead of myself. If we go to wired.com slash WP admin, we will see the WordPress admin login screen. But the, the counter example to this is if you actually go to wired.com and look at the page source, you won't find any WordPress references. So see, I'm looking for WP dash something or, and this is typically not the case, but just references of WordPress in general, there are none of these. Whereas if you go to a website like Tony Teaches Tech and look at the page source, you will see a whole bunch of WordPress references. So WordPress content, WordPress block button, you're seeing all these different WordPress references. So um, that is a difference there. And obviously, um, if you go to google.com, you won't see any of those WordPress references in the, in the page source. So WP dash something, they don't exist. Uh, let's do a couple more examples that I think you will find interesting. If you go to whitehouse.gov, which is the official website for the United States government White House, um, that is a WordPress website. Um, Facebook has a WordPress website for its about page. So about.fb.com that is a WordPress website. And we should, I should probably show you these. So whitehouse.gov looks like this. Got a new president now. Um, they changed it all up. And then about.facebook.com. Uh, this is Facebook's about page. Uh, is there anything else we wanna do? Oh yeah, I think another interesting one is angrybirds.com. This website, um, as far as you could tell, does not look anything like WordPress but we will copy that into the uh, detector, the oh, it is detector, and it indeed is a WordPress website. So if we look at the page source here, look for WordPress references, and we do see WordPress content references here, WordPress JSON, all that good stuff. Um, the thing is for, for websites like Angry Birds, if you go to WordPress, uh, the website, dot com slash WP admin. This one, I believe, will redirect you back to the home page. It won't let you there. But if you go to something like whitehouse.gov slash WP admin, it's going to say access denied because they don't want you snooping around in there. 
Um, so yeah, I have this here. It is a 100% free service. I have a little bit of an about page about the story behind why I made this. Um, and yeah, please, please use it. Please um, check it out. It's, I'll have it linked down below and it's really easy to remember if you if you don't owe it, that is. Um, guys, let me know what you think about it. Uh, please subscribe to this channel for more videos, for more WordPress tutorials, all that good stuff. I want to thank you very much for all of you who have been following along up until this point. Um, it really means a lot to me when you do comment on the videos and like the videos and all your subscriptions. Thank you so much. Uh, please stay tuned for more from me. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.